Type 2 diabetes is a serious condition that affects more and more people every year. But there are some misconceptions about the disease that many people may not realize. So today I will be discussing some myths about type 2 diabetes, which if you have it, will be good news for you. First, I want to take a minute to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Each week I bring you information and tips on how you can reverse and prevent disease, change your habits, and improve your overall health. If that sounds interesting to you, I would love for you to be a part of my growing community. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, turn on notifications as well. So if you have type 2 diabetes, you know that it is caused when your body no longer responds normally to insulin. Insulin is a hormone that allows blood sugar to enter cells to use as energy. When the cells don't respond to insulin, the pancreas produces more insulin to try and get cells to respond. Eventually, the pancreas can't keep up and your blood sugar rises. And though type 2 diabetes is a serious disease, there have been some popularized myths floating around that need to be cleared up. The first myth about type 2 diabetes is that if it doesn't run in your family, you won't get it. While type 2 diabetes does tend to run in families, it doesn't mean that you can't develop it if it doesn't. This type of diabetes is a lifestyle disease. That means it has more to do with your habits and routines than your genetics. And the reason it is common for people with a family history of type 2 diabetes to develop the disease is because eating habits and other lifestyle habits are passed down by our families. So if you want to prevent or reverse type 2 diabetes, you just have to work on healthy habits like eating whole foods, getting daily activity, managing stress in a healthy way, and getting quality sleep. And if you are needing guidance and support to help you change your habits, check out my website, Nutraholic.com, to learn more about how I can help you with that. The second myth about type 2 diabetes is once you have it, it can't be cured. Many in the medical community will tell you there is no cure for type 2 diabetes and that it can only be managed. But more and more evidence comes out all the time that debunks this. The root of the disease is insulin resistance that causes high blood sugar. And once you focus on healing the root cause, you can reverse the disease. The best proven way to become insulin sensitive is to cut down on carbohydrates. This reduces blood sugar, which helps insulin not have to work so hard. And most of the carbs that you do consume should come from whole food sources like low sugar fruits, vegetables, beans, and potatoes. Also, prioritizing movement, sleep, and stress management will increase your chances of healing type 2 diabetes as well. The third myth about type 2 diabetes is that you don't have to test your blood sugar because you can feel when it's high. Unfortunately, you can't rely on how you're feeling when it comes to blood sugar. Some people don't feel anything when their blood sugar is high, and others are so used to their blood sugar being high that they always feel the same. This is how many people with diabetes go undiagnosed. Some symptoms of high blood sugar are feeling shaky, lightheaded, or dizzy, but these can also be signs of low blood sugar, low blood pressure, hunger, or illness coming on. The only way to know for sure what your blood sugar is, is to test it. The good news is once you reverse type 2 diabetes and your blood sugar is consistently in a normal range, you won't need to test it as often. And the fourth myth about type 2 diabetes is if you don't have high blood sugar, you aren't at risk for type 2 diabetes. 
Some people with type 2 diabetes have normal fasting blood sugar, but high blood sugar after eating. If your blood sugars are high enough after eating, you may still be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Healthy blood sugar levels are 70 to 99 milligrams per deciliter, and anything above that is considered pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes. This is another reason why it is so important for you to test your blood sugar regularly, especially if you suspect you may have diabetes. Despite what you've heard about type 2 diabetes, anyone can get it at any time, but the good news is that it can be healed as well. The key to preventing and reversing type 2 diabetes is getting your blood sugar back to a normal range consistently and becoming insulin sensitive again. This can be achieved through lifestyle habits like eating a low carb whole foods diet, getting daily movement, managing stress well, and working on your sleep hygiene. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of or believe any of these myths about type 2 diabetes. I appreciate you watching. Please like and share the video with others that may find it helpful, and I will see you next week.